Hi everyone, welcome to the next um, video in this series by Hannah Carlson from her Seasons book. Um, we have this very interesting looking branch to do today. Um, I thought I would start with the stem and the leaves, but these, look, these are like, I think maybe not leaves. I think we might do them as a gemstone. I thought that could be um, a bit different. Um, I'm going to start, I'm just choosing, whoops, a colour. I think I'm going to use the pine green for the main stem. And I'm actually going to put a lightish layer down first. And then um, darken some parts of it. You'll see as we go. You'll need a fairly sharp pencil for this. It's uh, fairly thin in places. There we go. Oh, I need to say to you, I'm always forgetting, um, please subscribe to the channel. I'm always forgetting. It's just a little click of the button at the bottom of the video. Um, you can if you hit the bell next to it, you can um, adjust what notifications you get. So if you don't want to get a notification when I have a new video out, you can you can select that or you can say just want a few or you want lots. Because I do usually release three videos a day. Um, there's usually one um, in UK time, one first thing in the morning, one mid-afternoon and one sort of early evening tea time ish. Um, the first one in the morning is usually a shorter video um, from a sort of long running series maybe. It doesn't always work like that. The one in the afternoon is usually a longer video and then in the evening it's just a shorts video. Something um, it's the shorts videos are appeal to different types of people so it's to just try and get people who might not have come across my channel to see it or just to be just provide a slightly different thing because the shorts are sped up usually um, it's so that if you haven't got time to sit through a whole tutorial you can just have a quick glance at something that sort of thing I know some people are in a rush I know some someone said um, they didn't have time to look at my completed pages video which I put out because it was 40 minutes and they just didn't have time so uh, I have put together a few shorts with completed pages on I've sharpened my pencil and I'm going to go all the way around the edge now with it um, to make a sort of darker edge now in some areas this is going to darken the whole thing because it's narrow but in other areas like down here it, it won't um, try and stay in the lines I won't <laughs> <laughs> I will try, I just won't achieve it, is what I mean. Um, you can go over the black line, it's actually quite good if you do, but try not to go outside of it, but if you do it's not the end of the world. Um, anyway, yes, I tried to put together a few stills of my pages, but those don't seem very popular, so uh, it's interesting, I don't quite know. I'm trying to sort of find different things to appeal and some people manage to put up a shorts video and get millions of views really quickly and <laughs> I can't seem to achieve that. I guess I'm not uh, I'm not a comedian or a famous person or a singer or <laughs> you know or a minecrafter who's the, the ones that do really well but anyway it's just about trying to, uh, it's not about trying to go viral, my goodness. It's about trying to just um, see if there's any other people that might come along to the channel that are interested. You know, hoping to um, introduce colouring to more people. Um, so I know there's still people who think that it isn't, um, that they can't draw so they can't do art. And that's really sad because I'm not good at drawing I can copy something if I spend a really long time a lot of concentration but it isn't fun for me 
So, and I can't draw from my head, I just, no. So, I find that, um, but I've always enjoyed shading. And so, doing colouring is just, it's really been lovely for me to be able to do that. So, if there are other people out there the same, then I want to try and sort of encourage them to have a go and so find hopefully a relaxing and fun hobby. There we go. So there's our stem done. <clears throat> now we have the leaves and I'm going to use just a little bit of this at the bottom of each one because I want to sort of... I For me when there's a piece of branch leading to a leaf I like there to be a bit of the same colour I find that if you do say a brown branch and green leaves on it which is what how we would traditionally draw trees and I'm looking out of my window at a tree and that's how it is I think it looks a bit odd even though it's perfectly how they should look I don't know I don't know what's going on in my brain but <laughs> anyways so just a touch so that we've got a bit of um continuation of colour. This bit's bending around the corner of my book. I can't flatten the page that way. I don't want to ruin it by pushing on it. Now we're going to go to a... Um... No, not that colour. <laughs> a different colour, one I've made up my mind. Um, permanent green. Okay. So I'm going to take this colour from the tip, go right over it, quite hard and then fade it up like that so we can see a difference in colour from the bottom to the top we will add another colour as well but I think it's quite good to add this colour all the way up I'm just checking the time I've got to go out but it's uh, still early nice to get colouring in before I go. I also always far more awake first thing in the morning. I know some people wake up and they feel a bit groggy. I wake up and I am raring to go. I'm definitely a morning person. By the time it's five o'clock I've just got no energy left. Luckily I eat quite early. I eat at five in the evening nice and early cook at half four while I've still got energy, eat at five and then I start to wind down for the day. But um, as I said um, in yesterday's video I did go for a walk in the evening yesterday. But I wondered if it would affect my sleep because you're not really supposed to exercise too late in the evening because apparently it can reduce the quality of sleep because I guess the adrenaline I don't really know. But uh, it was only a gentle walk and uh, it didn't make any difference to my sleep. I still woke up a few times with hot flushes. <laughs> Fling the covers off. Right, I want a sort of yellowy tip. I'm wondering whether to actually use yellow. Yeah, why not? Let's use this yellow. This is the new yellow. This is Cadmium Yellow Lemon. I think it works quite well with the green. And for this, I'm gonna start at the tip and then just take it down the leaf not all the way to the bottom where it's nice and vibrant now I'm purposely putting down quite a vibrant colour on this page and there's a reason why on this particular picture I mean for my um, thumbnails for this video, I'm removing the background and if I have any areas like the tips of leaves that are white, my background remover thinks that it should be part of the background and it takes it away. It's quite hard to explain but I need to have a good saturated colour for it to work properly. Or else I have to manually go in and select each bit of each area. My son says he's got a better piece of software that removes the background. 
open pictures. The reason I'm removing the background on these is because they're all close together. So when I cut this out for my thumbnail, there'll be this bit in there because it's sort of overlapped. So I want to be able to remove that bit. Okay, now we have our little drops. Like, I think, um, um, what colour? I'd like to do them red, but we have got our red strawberries later. We've done a fair bit of red already. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's use this colour. I, think I might just use the one colour. This is crimson I'm going to use, which is a sort of very pinky purple colour. I'll try this. Now what I want to do is to make the colour more intense around the edge and a bit less in the middle. I can hear horses. I think someone's watching a video with some horses. <laughs> Definitely not outside. I think I can tell the difference between the sound of a horse on a video and the sound of a horse outside. Don't usually get horses outside. There used to be a donkey in a field up on the hill near us and if the wind was blowing in the right direction you would hear it. But he's no longer with us, little donkey. It actually made our local paper because he was such a famous donkey. <laughs> he had, I don't know his name, he had a name obviously. Well, I say obviously, not all animals have names of course. But, uh, our little donkey. We occasionally get horses down our road because um, they go along the uh, canal path or whatever. I haven't seen any for ages. I think they don't tend to come out in the in the um, winter time so much. It's in the summer, so we might start to see them. But they often tend to be up on the top road, rather than in our little road. I haven't used this sort of colour for a long time with my polychromos. That's makes a bit of a change. You could do these different colours and it's very unrealistic to assume that every leaf on a plant would be the same colour. You look at a plant, it's never the case and the same with these, whatever they are, whether they're buds or just flowers or jewels, whatever they are, they wouldn't be the same colour. But somehow I just always do them the same. And I think it'll be nice to put a little bit of white on these before I finish. So I'm going to use the Jelly Roll 08. It's the one that happens to be next to me because I used it in the last video. I'm going to go over the top. Hannah has marked some little black marks on here so I'm going to use those as my guide go over those with the white pen my washing machine has finished so I will stop the video in a minute go and hang out the washing such an exciting thing so we all do it though I'm sure Okay, I don't know how much that white really shows up, but uh, I am going to leave it there. I don't want to overdo it, but uh, there is our plant. I'd quite like to be able to squash the page down a bit more to show you, but I can't. So <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you get the impression. It just looks a little bit old. Hang on. There. Now you can see it without the page being curved. I think that's a little better. But thank you so much for watching. Um, do have a really lovely day. Please subscribe, like, send me a comment, whatever you want to do. And uh, as I say, have a really lovely day and happy colouring. <laughs>